What is going on, guys? Chris Barr first here. We're back in Storm Wars, and yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we're checking out a pretty awesome ship here today, guys. It's another paddle steamer ship. And yeah, I, I know you guys knew this was coming. I know you guys knew this was coming. I know who you guys think this, this ship was made by. That's right, it's made by GB Danny. Yeah, we have another GB Danny ship here, folks. This one looks awesome. It was just made today, and I am so excited. I am so excited to get into more GB Danny creations and ships. But before we go, GB Danny um, had a new um, he had a new steam engine for us to check out. So not just for me. Um, he had a new steam engine for us to check out. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna check out his mini steam engine. And just so you know, um, yes, it's by GB Danny. It tells you right there who's it's by. Yep, GB Danny. 96. And that's a pretty big engine, I must say. That is a really big engine. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how this works. Um, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna light the candle. That's pretty dang cool. And, um... Is that it? Is that all we have to do? Oh, yeah, this thing is totally modded. That's for sure. There it goes! There's GB Danny's new steam engine, I guess, that he's gonna use in his ships. Oh, that is... That is so cool! That's awesome. Yeah, I like that a lot. I hope we see that today in GB Danny's ship. Or either he's got a new ship plan. I did not want that. Thank you very much. I didn't want that. a little slow right now probably because we're in the dock probably because we're in the port we should be able to get out of here pretty, pretty nice and snug here there we go yes and um this is the pilot house he's got two bridges he's got a pilot house and Boy, this boy, man, I'm telling you, this boy, man, I'm telling you, this, this guy knows that what, is, what he's doing here in Stormworks. Oh my god, folks. Holy man, let's turn all this stuff on. Boy, this guy knows what he's doing. Alright, let's head down to the engine room. And yes, that is a compact engine. It's a coal bunker. I'm assuming this is a steam powered ship. I'm guessing. Here we go in the deck house. We're gonna head down here because this is the engine room. Pretty sure. The engine room is not moving. We think we gotta start up the engines. The engines are down here. I'm pretty dang sure they are. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, here we go. Sorry for it. Close. This guy knows what he's doing. We're gonna light the boiler. Is that even... Is that even going? Boiler temp. Oh yeah, it's getting hot. Oh yeah, it's definitely getting hot. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, it's eating up. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it's definitely getting hot. Okay, yep. Good to know. Um, cargo hold. Very nice, very nice. Cargo hold. Chain locker. For the coal, I'm assuming. Oh no, 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 this is for the anchors. Anchor room, here we go. Yep, this is where the anchors will be stored. There we go. starting up. Yeah, that's really nice and toasty, isn't it? Alright, I think we can start to freaking move. Um, I'm pretty sure we can. Map room. Okay, um, we're gonna head back down here. We're gonna get the engine started. That should get the Thing moving and we should be moving out of here. Man, these GB Danny ships, boy, this guy knows where he oh god. I don't think there's ever gonna be a ship that disappoints me. This is my favorite shipbuilder in Storm Wars, GB Danny 96. He makes awesome creations in Storm Wars. I said it on my TikTok and I said it on my Snapchat. This guy knows what he's doing. And we're off. Um, I wonder where the scuttle button is. Uh, yeah, the scuttle button is what we're gonna be pressing. We're gonna see how long we can last for. Hmm. Map table, macaroni. Here we go. Diamond in sink, instant sink. So. I think that is so cool. That is so awesome. And pretty much when we get out here, folks, the lag is instantly cleared up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm really happy, folks. I'm really happy with this ship so far. Yeah, let's go on a little tour. So, we have the deck house, right? Right out here. Equipment locker. And the other side. We got the map room. The chart room. I'm going to turn the map on. There we go. Captain's quarters. We've been in here. That looks great. Dandy. Equipment locker. That's pretty much it for down here. Um, there should be... More, more, yes, there is an aft castle. Um, handy decks, quarters, hand deck, hand, deck hands, quarters. This is all crew quarters back here. Kitchen, you know, you got your galley and another beautiful clock over there. I love that design. I wish I knew how to use those, uh, those, um, compasses. I think we're going to do a nice thing as well. Take hands, quarters. We're going to head to the front. But, can DV Janney's ships handle the waves? That's the question. Whoa! 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 Oh, this is a first! That is a first! Whoa, okay. That is a first. DB Danny's ships can always handle the waves. That is weird, and that is strange. Okay.
that kind of disappoints me a little bit. But still an awesome ship, no matter what. Just can't take 100% ways like all those other ships can. That is strange, and I'm not a fan of that, actually. But still, this ship is on my central approval at this very moment. This ship kind of disappoints me a little bit. Okay, so we won't do 50% weight. Can it take 50? I don't know. Can it? We're about to find out. Bilge pump. That is weird. I've never ever experienced that with GBJ and ships. go. Telegraph. Gone. There we go. And it's starting to smoke. We should be able to get out of here soon. That is weird. I, I'm lost for words on that. Why would GB Danny do that? I'm not sure why you would do it. Nonetheless, we're still gonna have fun with this ship and Yeah. Should kick on any second. I can see a steam coming out. Yep, here we go. Yep, we're moving. I mean, this ship kind of disappoints me today. I mean, I've never, I've never had that issue before with DBJ and his ships. Hope you get that fixed. It kind of disappoints me. Steel is great. It steel is great, but it can't take the wind. Can it take fifty percent? It can take 50%. It can take 75%. No, no, it cannot. Okay. Yep. No, it cannot take 50%. It cannot take 75%. Can it take 60%? You know, this ship kind of disappoints me a little bit. I've expected more from D GB Danny this. But his ship is not doing well this year. This one's not doing near as well as his other ships. Not at all. GB Danny always makes good ships. I mean, this is a good ship, but I expected it to uh, take the waves and steer in heavy wind. And it's not doing that. Very disappointing, GB Danny. Very disappointing. I expected more from you, buddy. But anyways, we're going to head out to sea in this thing. Yeah. And we're going to head out. We're going to head out in the wit. We're going to head out at night. Because we can. I really expected more from this guy. I really did. And I'm still happy about it. I'm still happy. I'm just, I'm, I still like his ships, but this one just does not take my seal of approval. Let's see how it handles it. Yes. Okay. 
thing that handles it great. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy. I, I mean, I'm happy, but you came out with a new ship, but I'm not happy about how this thing is handling. It capsizes at 100% waves and 75% waves. That's not good. I'm sorry, GB Daddy, that's not good at all. A ship should take every kind of what are known to man, and this one is not. Unfortunately, this one is not taking it. Yeah, that's really disappointing. I'm really disappointed on this one. I really am. Anyways, we're just gonna, um, I think we're deep enough out. I can't, I can still see the creative island. I really expected more from this guy. I really did. But you know what? Maybe, um... Palestinians aren't really meant to take these kind of waves. It's, it's holding up great with 50%. It can't take 60%. I mean, it could take... What percentage are we at right now? 50. It can't take 60 either. It can't steer well in 60. I mean, it can take 60, but it can steer well in 60% wind. That's really, uh, really a shame. GB Dying, please don't make your next ship like this. Unfortunately, guys, I I'm, I'm going to have to take a pass on this one. Unfortunately, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to take a pass on this. This one is just not, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work right. I mean, it works right. I mean, for what it is, it's a nice ship to play around with. But it should take the wind, and it doesn't. It should steer well in the wind, and it doesn't in heavy wind. So for that, I, I just gotta say, don't. I mean, if you're gonna play with this for fun, go ahead. But everything else, for rescue missions, no. Take a pass on this one. I'm gonna have to say, this is not on my approval. This is not on my approval list of ships. I'm sorry. But it's not. That's really cool that you got a bell like that. That's really cool. Alright, now we're getting in the real, real deep waves here. I can no longer see the island. I think it's time for sinking time. He's also got a whistle. It's not a horn. I like the bell though. I really like that. It really is cool. And it's modded too. Excuse me.
I'm back. Alright, yeah, um, shut that off. That's pretty annoying right now. The waves, man, are getting a pretty intense here. Um, yeah, I can still see the creative islands. We're getting further away from it, but it's still. It's still in sight. Yeah, I can still see the creative island. I want to get a little further away from that. I want to get in the deeper oceans, which we are in pretty deep oceans right now. But, we get in even deeper. So, yeah. Okay, I can no longer see the creative base. I can no longer see the lighthouse from the from the Coast Guard base, as I like to call it. So now that we can no longer see that, and we're in pretty deep waves, I think we found our freaking speed. Or I think we found our sweet spot for sinking. I think we are pretty deep right now because we're bobbing up and down. And that's a good sign when it comes to this. So, you know what? We're going to get down here. We're going to get into the captain's quarters. And we're going to go ahead and do this. Actually, let me turn on all the lights real quick. Because it is kind of dark down here. It really is. It Cargo hold doesn't need lights, I'm pretty sure. Map room. Lights on. I don't want it to get too laggy right now. I'm not trying to make it laggy. For whatever reason, we're on. Storage light. I like to turn on all the lights in the place. Turn on all the lights there. All the lights, there we go. Deck hand light on. Oh, it's getting really bright here now. It's a pretty bright little ship, I have to say. For an old ship like this, it's pretty darn it's pretty darn dark. It's pretty darn off uh, bright. It's pretty dang bright in here. Anchor room. Yeah, there's no lights in here. Okay. Um, where does this take you? Okay, this chain locker. I don't think there's lights in here. No, there's not. It's pretty creepy in there. Let's get out of there. It's pretty creepy down here, actually. This is also a good contender for, uh, for Ghost Ship, too. I mean, it's got that creepy vibe uh, with the lights off. I mean, it would definitely creep me out. Let's shut that before water gets in there because we don't want to start the sinking yet. But I think we are pretty good to go the sink. So let me get down there and hit that scuttle. And we're going to sink this thing. Because, you know, it's, that's what we came here for. Alright. Map, it's in the map room. Okay, it's not in the captain's quarters. Here we go. One. Alright, how is this thing going to go down? That's the question. Oh, it's pretty nasty out here right now. How's this thing going to go down? That is a good freaking question. How is this thing going to go down now? That is a good question. 
That is a really good freaking question. And the answer is, I don't really know. I don't know how this thing is going down. I, I kind of don't, to be honest with you. I'm trying to kind of figure that out right now. We seem okay right now, but uh, maybe I should head down there and see what's what's going on. Is I don't know if we're taking all water right now. I'm gonna pretend that I don't, but I know I hit the skull button. And then I don't know if we're, doing, what, if we're going down or not. So, let me hit down the engine room. Um, yeah, how is this thing sinking? Um, oh, oh, oh! Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, that's how it's sinking. Right there. Good. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, that's really sneaky. Yeah, but I'm still gonna pretend that we're not taking all of it. That's what I'm gonna do. And then we're good. Okay. Whoa, look at those waves going over the bow there. Wow. Oh, yes. Woo-wee! Look at those waves, folks. This is getting quite scary, actually. Navigation lights. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where are we heading from? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're heading right for an island. Yeah, we're gonna turn away from that. Here goes nothing. Turn away from the island. There we go, cutting across the waves like nothing. There we go. Turn away, turn away, turn away from that island now. Yeah, we're not deep at all anymore. Because we're near islands, dang it. Oh, yes! Oh, boy. Some... There's a lot of water coming in out of the front here. That's for sure. Wow. And we're in the thunderstorm. It's even it's even better. Oh, 
here we go. Oh yeah, yeah. That that's getting quite scary at the front of, of the ship. Uh, how how um how low it is. Yeah, that's getting quite dang scary. It's getting quite it's getting quite scary. Yeah, that's getting quite scary, actually. Look at the front of the front of the ship, bro. Ooh, we yeah, that's yeah, that's not good. Oh my God! Look at that. Okay, yep, 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 okay, yep, 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 it is time to abandon ship, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, yep, we have no time to waste right now, uh, yep, 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 yep. This is the captain, abandon ship immediately, abandon ship immediately, this is not a drill, abandon ship immediately. Down you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Rock the boat here. Let's go. Come on. I'm not waiting for I'm not waiting for this tonight. No sir way. Disconnected. Let's let's go. Oh my god, man. Yeah, that's something. That is definitely something right there. It is going down to the bottom of the ocean, folks. Wow. That is something. That is a really incredible sink, too. I just like how once... Let's just see what happened, actually. So, we were in here, right? Let's just go ahead and, and go into photo mode real quick. I want to see what happened. So, yeah. Let's see what happened here. Uh, so, engine room. Oh! Oh my god! There was so much water in there, it busted through the wall. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, that's something. That is definitely uh, that's definitely something right there. Seeing that ship go down. And I have a funny feeling it's not over. Oh my God, yeah! Look at it go. There goes the bow. It's down. It's going, it's going down. Oh, 
Oh my god, look at it go. Oh, it's glorious. Oh, it's absolutely glorious. There goes the stern, it's lifting up. Ooh. Oh my god, you got you wow. There goes the power. And now she's and there she goes. Hmm. That was an epic sink. I really enjoyed that one. That was awesome. Let's clear up the water real quick. Clear up the fog, clear up the wind. Clear up the rain. Make it daytime. And we'll see what happens when it imp impacts the bottom of the ocean. When it impacts the bottom of the ocean. So, we'll see what happens. So, here's what's, here's what's going to happen here. So, it looks like yeah you know what I did get a little damage um from from it but uh, it's, it's not too bad yeah folks that's all she wrote that was that was that was really something That was, that was honestly something. And, yeah, there she is. She's at the bottom of the ocean. And I don't believe she has damage. Well, folks. There is also one thing I want to show you before we end this episode. So, we're going to go ahead and clean this up real quick. Get rid of it. Um... We are also going to return to this. So, yeah, we got announcements that the Stormworks Coast Guard has got a brand new ship. And I'm excited to show it to you folks. Um, you know, let me heal myself up first. There we go. Nice. So, that's not where we were looking on for today. We're taking a look at the OS. Fathom. Uh, I think that's what this is called. Um, so say hello to the. What is this called? So the new Coast Guard uh, rescue vessel is going to be the OSV Phantom. And it's a brand new Coast Guard vessel by spider and it looks absolutely amazing and I think it will do a world of good for um for our Coast Guard needs. So the US the US Coast Guard uh, said that no not the US Coast Guard, what am I saying? So the Stormworks Coast Guard said that this thing cost them um one million dollars. So this thing cost them one million dollars to purchase from from another uh, from another company, and yeah, now we're gonna use it as a Coast Guard. Now we're gonna use it as a Coast Guard vessel. This is their newest Coast Guard vessel. This is great. I can't wait to use this thing when we do missions and we do ghost ship. I can't wait to use this ship because this thing will be awesome. I felt like I needed to tell you guys that introducing the you inter, about uh, do that real quick of introducing the Stormworks Coast Guard's newest Coast Guard ship. So, yep, the OSV Phantom. The OSV says for offshore offshore vessel or phantom there we go super excited to use this thing in a coast guard mission 
in a rescue mission or a ghost ship mission. Can't wait to use this thing. Anyways, I guess this is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Until next time. I guess we'll see you guys next time on Stormworks. Thank you. Peace out, guys.